Dungeons and Dragons ride! Wow! Me! Give me a break! I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, Ranger! Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Fifty miles from any place. I'm telling you, I know what I'm doing. We just head that way. Oh, just the guy I want to see. Dungeon Master. Boy, I'm glad to wants. see you. Please. Dungeon Master, Can we're you tell lost us where we are? Patience, young ones. You will find both safety and danger ahead. Do we have to find both? I am sorry, but yes. You must find the city at the edge of midnight. Midnight? Ah, oh, terrific. Now we're the night shift. Where is this city, Dungeon Master? You will find your way, or rather, your way will find you. And time is on your side. But heed this warning. There are others who are more lost than you shall ever be. Children from this world and yours. It is up to you to save them. Children? But Dungeon Master! Oh, he's gone again! How are we supposed to find other children if we don't even know where we are? <laughs> Ask Eric. He got us into this. Uh, oh, no. no, no, no not me. No way. I, I quit. Oh, come on, Eric. I was only... Forget it. You can find yourselves another fall guy. <laughs> what is this? It's an oasis. Where'd it come from? Nowhere, dummy. Can't you tell a mirage when you see one? Yeah! All right, please! Will somebody tell these dummies it's just a mirage? Surrounding us! Get back! Aha! What in the world? You dare to enter this beautiful oasis? You dare to frighten this poor defenseless, miserable, furry little creatures? Well? Well, well, well what? <laughs> well, my friends, shall we not, how do you say, um, knock the monster's socks off? All right! Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Will somebody tell me what's going on? 
sad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is that guy? Wonderful. You think that's something? Watch this, Ellie. Oops, not you guys. <laughs> oh, my children. You are, how do you say, hot stuff? Hold it right there. Nobody moves until somebody tells me who, who that, uh, that guy uh, may I? <laughs> Be our guest. Stop! My children, we did it. What do you mean, we? We means us, me and them. I know who they are, they know who I am, but who are you? <laughs> my daughter always scolded me for my ill manners. Forgive me. I am Ramud, caravan merchant from Kaddish. So you are the brave one, the first to enter the forbidden oasis of no return? Yeah, you might say I was the first. D did you say no return? Indeed. This accursed oasis appears once a year, a trap for unwary travelers. Those creatures were once human like you and me, but they made the mistake of spending the night here and were changed into monsters. Wow. Uh, gee, what an interesting story. <laughs> but do not worry. It is an hour before the setting of the suns. Garushk! And by then... We will be a league or more away from here. That is, if you will honor me by joining my caravan. Wow, thanks. Hey, sure. Beats hanging around here. <laughs> <laughs> then may I, as you say, <laughs> alley -oops. Come on, Presto. How do we know we can trust this rum dude or a bum mood or... Wait for me, Ramud, old buddy. Come on. Step on it! Let's go! Vamos! Say, Ramud, how do you start these things again? The word is Kutrash! Hey, Kutrash! Kutrash! No, no, Master Eric, roll your tongue! Kutrash! This better work. Kutrash! Ah! Hey, stop! Ah! Whoa! Cease! <laughs> hey, Ramud! <laughs> <laughs> Has the mighty barbarian lost his appetite? That was great, but one more bite and I'll bust. Eric, can you eat mine too? You kidding? Pass it down. Remove this is great. Better than anything back home. <laughs> Talk about the way to a man's heart. Dear Sheila, your voice reminds uh, me of my daughter. Uh, Where are my children? Time for bed? Nah, I, I can eat all night. Say, where is your daughter, anyway? Oh, uh, did, did, I, did I say something? She is... she is not here anymore. She... disappeared from my palace one night, long time ago. H have you looked for her? I, I mean, we could help you look and... You bet we will. It's the least we can do. No, my children. I thank you. I know where she is. There is just no way to reach her yet. It's a long, long story. But come, this should be a happy time. Are we not a family now? And the house of Ramud is doubly blessed. For I have not only daughters, but sons as well. Me? Whoops. And a unicorn too. <laughs> <laughs> Lights out, guys. Tomorrow we start looking for that city. What? Oh, yeah. gee. Oh, gee. 
I forgot. Good idea, Bobby. Let's keep on forgetting. Ah, uh, Hank, can't we stay? Ramud's awfully nice. Yeah, he's the next best thing to having a real dad. Are you kidding? He's better than my dad ever was. Shh, listen. But <laughs> what is this? You are all still awake? Come, my children, to sleep. And for you, Sheila, this, to hold you safe in your dreams. It belonged to my daughter, my dear Aisha. Oh, I couldn't. Please accept it. If I never find her, I would like to know it is loved by one as lovely as she. Good night, my children. City at the edge of midnight. This, this is what happened to my daughter, my Aisha. Stolen by the beast who has no name. He is known only as the Nightwalker. Remember the dummy who said forget going to that city? Well, forget forgetting it. Let's get that thing open. We're in Kansas City, guys. That night walker can't be that smart. His clock's a couple of minutes slow. It was just midnight when we left, and... You guys see that? There's another one. Don't look now, but I get the feeling we're being watched. That's okay. As long as all they want to do is watch. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> For them. Wait! They might take us to Aisha and Bobby! You think it's worth a try? Perhaps. Sheila, you are as brave as my own Aisha. But if any harm comes to you, the Night Walker will pay. I think his check's in the mail already. Of time. 
What? They keep time frozen forever. For the clock must never strike midnight. And you are going to join them. Where are the children called Aisha and Bobby? <laughs> In the tower above, and you will join them now. Run! No way! Look out! There's too many. Run for it. That's what I said. We're in the tower, and that's where we're headed. Yeah, at a hundred miles an hour. We'll smash through the roof. The dungeon master said time's on our side. And he's been right about everything so far. Time, that's it. This clock. Midnight. We gotta get time running again. Get ready to jump. What? by that name. The Nightwalker lied. Aisha! Come on, let's get this thing running. You got it! Show me another one of your dumb card tricks, eh, Presto? <laughs> See you around, guys. Uh, uh, one chance to get a message back home and it had to be Jimmy Whitaker! I always told you guys Whitaker was a wimp, but did anybody listen? No! If we ever get home, I'm going straight over to Whitaker's house and... Welcome back, Cavalier, and... Welcome to you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? My daughter, Great Dungeon Master. Did my Aisha return with the others? Father! Aisha, at last. Oh, come, my children. Meet your new sister. This is a time for celebration. Dungeon Master, why did you call Ramud Your Majesty? He's just a caravan merchant, isn't he? A disguise he has used while searching for his daughter. Ramud is a king. A king of many kings. Ruler of a vast land to the east. 
But he always calls us his children. That, dear pupils, will be the next choice you must face. This is for you, Sheila, for always. You have food and water for many weeks, my children. How can I ever thank you? You've already thanked us, Your Majesty. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, Ramud. I'm... I'm sorry we can't stay. It's just that we've got to keep searching for the way back home. I understand. Well then, shall we, as you say, Aleops? See you later. Bye, 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 Bye Aisha. Farewell, my children. Katrash! No, Master Eric. Rule your tongue. Oh, all right. Katrash!